and welcome to The Locker Room. Coach Giggs here in today's message, wear flattering clothes. Wear flattering clothes. <laughs> Get ready, this is a unique message, gang. Your clothing represents an image that shouts volumes to others. Even though the judgments people make about you will vary from person to person, to ensure that you make a good first impression, there are certain sensible guidelines that you can follow with confidence. Don't shock, disappoint, or embarrass others or yourself. Don't break the dress code where you are. If you're in a business environment, dress businesslike. If you're out with friends who are casual, be casual. If you're in a more high-end restaurant, throw a jacket on or possibly a tie. Many years ago, I read a great book titled Dress for Success. And in this book, I received lots of great tips on how to dress at work and at home and what the different colors and arrangements of clothing meant to other people when they saw it. I learned that we must wear what we are comfortable in, but sometimes you may need to step outside your comfort zone to discover something better. Years ago, I remember, I walked into an Italian men's clothing store. Before then, I'd worn American suits, very classic traditional clothing. I had never worn an Italian tailored suit before, so I tried one on. Needless to say, I was not comfortable. The owner of the store, however, told me that I looked great and he was Italian and he knew style, so I guess he knew better than I did, or at least I thought he did, and yes, he did. Needless to say, I received all kinds of compliments on this suit of clothing and shirt and tie that was so different from what I had had, and in time, I had grown more comfortable wearing Italian tailored suits. Take care of your clothing. When signs of wear come, let it go. Give it away. Get something new and fresh. Avoid trendy clothes and fashions that will become outdated a year later. I've always advised those who work with me who are recruiting people to our company to dress real sharp and to look very successful. I would say to them, how can you sell dreams and look like a nightmare? <laughs> Obviously, some people would need help on how to dress when interviewing for an exciting career. Let's face it, if you are interviewing for a job, for a wonderful career, and the person opposite you doing the interview looks like they just rolled out of bed, their tie is not sharp, their, their shirt is not pressed, what are you thinking about that person? Exactly. It's not good. So dress for success. Dress to relax and enjoy your casual time. Dress properly when you go to a formal event. Wear clothes that flatter you. And you'll be living your best life and feeling good doing it. That's the message today, gang. Make it a great day. Happy Thursday. We'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel that the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them the daily message?